we'll go see! We'll make them later, but first, let's start with fluffy marshmallow sheets. Their bodies will be made from chocolate cupcakes. We need butter, sugar, and vanilla extract. We're going to stir all of them together really well until we get a perfect fluffy mix. Sue, I've been shepherding some eggs here! Let's crack them one by one. Try not to get any eggshell into the mix. Now let's make the batter fluffy again! Mixer, make a huge whoosh! Freshly made buttermilk right from the slime farm! Thank you! <laughs> I guess slimes can do anything. Let's add our buttermilk into the bowl. Then we'll make another round of shake shake! <laughs> Sammy, use the whisk for this! Guys, we'll let Sam do some mixing. In the meantime, let's prepare the dry ingredients. Here are flour, baking powder, and some cocoa. I'll show you a real shake shake this time! Holy cannoli! That was something! Now we can sift the dry ingredients into the bowl with the batter. Be careful at this stage, guys! Or ask an adult to help! I'm dancing in the rain and singing in the rain What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again! Hey, Sammy! Bring a cupcake pan here! The batter is almost done! We'll have a whole block of sheep! What a day! Guys, heat an oven up to 180 degrees Celsius and charge the pan there for 25 minutes. I'll deal with that! And you, make the wool! Sure! The wool is gonna be made of two main parts. Creamy base and fluffy marshmallow topping. We're gonna start with the base. The main thing here is to mix everything properly. Here we have some cream. Now goes the whipped cream and then vanilla sugar. When you're done, let this mixture cool down for a bit. My part is more fun! I'm gonna separate marshmallows! Pink to the right, white to the left. <laughs> Sammy, you've started a marshmallow battle! When you finish, you'll get ready to shape Annie's face! Amy is such a cute name! Sounds like Sammy, right? <laughs> for this step, we'll knead marzipan with powdered sugar and shape cute little face features. Sheep we've made. She's Defo Amy. Little cannoli! The cupcakes are ready! Coming! I really love our little Amy. Sam, where are you? Susie, I found the prettiest cupcake for Amy! Thanks! Let's start with the cold whipped cream. Smear it all over the top like this. Mmm, looks so yummy! After that, attach small marshmallow pieces from the broadest part to the center. Whoa! I can't wait to see the results, Sue! Emmy, let's find you new friends! Emmy, Mike, Bella, go find yourself a pretty meadow! Guys, we're switching to the second recipe. Sammy has been waiting for it. Woohoo! We're making cookie turtles! What do we have here? Flour, powdered sugar and eggs, vanilla extract, some oil, baking soda, and starch. And some butter, of course! Come on, Susie! When can we add some cocoa to this? In a moment, when the dough is kneaded, we'll divide it into two parts. Where is another piece going? I don't want to share! That piece is for the second part. Now let's make some choco turtle shells. I love chocolate! Guys, give a thumbs up if you do too! Let's pour some into our bowl! I like it too, but I also like coloring the dough. This piece is gonna be green. Sure! I totally forgot about that! And more, Susie! Here's a quick tip. Put on the gloves so your fingers don't turn green. Let's start with one cute little turtle. Here are its limbs and a chocolate shell. The last one isn't ready yet. We should add some texture to it! You're right. Each turtle will have its own unique grid pattern on the shell. Guys, follow me and we'll see what you get! Now let's send our turtles outside! I mean to the oven! But don't forget to put all of the pieces together. Like this. The finishing touch is a couple of big chocolate eyes. Here we go! Go to the oven, my turtle army! I wish you would turn sweet and yummy! While the turtle cookies are baking, let's get to another famous animal helper. These are the future mice! 
First, we'll whisk some flour, baking powder, and salt. Then, into the mixer bowl, we'll put butter, vegetable shortening, sugar, and coloring. Which is blue, by the way. Let's mix them up! Susie, check this out! Choco Turtles came back! Oh, that one is so cute! Did you find a comfy plate for them? Yeah, it's tightly packed! There you go, buddy! Sammy, come back! The mice are waiting for you! I'm adding small parts of dry ingredients and mixing them into our batter. The main thing here, guys, is not to rush. Be patient and you'll get something really cool! Keep going, Susie! I'll make a video! should be cooled down in a fridge for three hours! Hail Tibidaba! We can use a time lapse! Now let's shape the first mouse! We'll use a small scoop to portion the dough like this. What? A mouse like this wouldn't help Cinderella get to the ball! I guess we should just shape it a bit, see? Now it looks more like a mouse, right? Not till we attach these ears to its head! Good point! Here comes one. And another ear. Such a cutie! Don't forget about the eyes to look around and the nose to sniff in every corner! We'll bake them in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and then we'll attach the wiggling tails. See you in ten, guys! Guys, the baking time has passed like a second, right? All of the tails are in their places, and now it feels a bit crowded here. Just a bit? Lights are everywhere! Give way! Ah, <sighs> finally I have time to enjoy myself. Mmm. Out! Or I'm gonna be left without Oreos! Here, you can start opening these. Salty pretzels? I wanted to taste something sweet, you know. Well, of course! That's why we'll make a topping from milk chocolate. Swirl a magic tornado, and it's melted! Woo! Attention, pretzel! You're jumping into a chocolate swamp! <laughs> yeah, fellas, we need to drown you a bit, and from the other side, too. Now you can rest on the baking tray while we are finishing with the others. Passengers, we're heading to the freezer to cool down for five minutes! And I'm going to make a yellow topping for the Oreo bees. We'll use melted white chocolate and food coloring to get a nice bright color. Shimmer me cheddar! It looks so colorful and yummy! Sammy, you've brought a cookie! Great! Erm, you can already give it away. No, no! Thanks! Oh, I was hoping to get one first. When we're finished, you'll get plenty of those. That's a promise. Fly, small bee! Right to your chocolate wings! Whoosh! Perfect landing! Next Oreo bomb! Splash! Now coat it in chocolate! Easy peasy! Let's roll it a few times like this. And one more bee is ready! Control the landing. To the left. Yep! Perfect, Captain! Guys, check this out! We can make a few more. Try not to eat all of these by yourselves, though. That was aimed at me, right? Now I can see all perspectives! Susie, we ran out of candy eyes! I think I know where they have all gone. <laughs> These candy eyes are for the bees only. Sorry, but I have to take the others, too. I still have my goggles on! Actually, I don't see any bees here. Only some bugs! I have a solution. We'll just add some chocolate stripes on their backs. There you go! The first bee is ready to fly! Just check this out, Sammy. Now all of them will have this heart-shaped blush. <laughs> I love all bees! You're amazing! 
Anyway, stay alert! It turns out that the chocolate bees can also sting! I'm prepared for this! Keep them in the fridge for 30 minutes so they'll cool down! And after that, we'll visit our animal cookie kingdom again! Hi guys, tell us, what's your favorite breakfast? We most certainly like pancakes the best! Hi everyone! If you only liked to cook them and not just eat them… <laughs> oh Susie Susie, you know that I'm a true artist! Splendid! I can't cook boring food, I'm too good for them! Then today is your lucky day, because our pancakes will be very unusual. But first, we need to whip this mixture of sugar, one egg, and salt into foam. Next comes 250 milliliters of milk. We're gonna gradually mix it in. Unless that's unicorn milk, I don't see anything unusual about your batter, Sue. It's just regular milk, Sammy, and some pretty ordinary flour. Guys, it is very important not to leave any lumps. Now, the baking soda which will make our pancakes fluffy. And vegetable oil will prevent them from sticking to the frying pan. Still nothing new. Ah, you want the fun part, and you'll get it. We'll take our batter and whoosh, divide it into four parts. Holy cannoli, why do we, <gasps> oh, I know. We're gonna color them. <laughs> Just a few drops of the food coloring and mix it all really well. Guys, this is unbelievable! Just look at all those bright colors! Sue, if I didn't know that we were cooking today, I'd think that we were gonna draw something spectacular! Who says we won't? This way, it's gonna be much more convenient to create some really fun pancakes. Wow, awesome! Guys, give a thumbs up if you are as intrigued as I am, and stay tuned! Here we go! Guys, remember to be very careful working with the cooker. Better ask an adult to help. Alrighty, I am ready to make some pancakes! Or should I say some art pancakes? <laughs> ah, I see that you figured out my little trick. <laughs> Let's get started then. But you should work rather fast. And note that your frying pans need to be really hot, guys. Be very careful and don't burn your hands. Yep, and for this step, you're gonna need a steady hand. Don't forget to add more icicles to his chin. <laughs> Got it. Now we'll make the outline of our first emoji pancake more visible. And then we'll deal with its teeth. You're gonna need some white then, am I right? As always. You see, this is why it is more convenient to use these special bottles with nozzles. You could use piping bags instead, I guess. But in that case, the openings in them should still be tiny. Uh-huh. Syringes might also do, people. Just try not to hurt your fingers. Here comes the light blue. Very good. And the last step will be blue. But this time, we'll take the bigger bottle. That's right. This way, we need to fill our pancake with the batter all the way through. It's spatula time! Thanks, Sammy. Okay, carefully. There we go! Oh my god! Guys, this is amazing! <laughs> and I bet very tasty. Just a few more seconds on the other side, and breakfast is served. Hey, Sue, we've got so many colors here, like that brown one. What do we need it for? 
Try and guess, Sammy. Try and guess. <gasps> no way. <laughs> yes way. <laughs> I thought that if we were going to make unusual pancakes, we could make them in not-so-regular shapes as well. Guys, this is amazing. Hit the subscribe button if you agree. And the best part is that you really can choose any shape and use any colors. All you need is to figure out the main principle. First, draw all the details that would be on the front part of your pancake. Then, thoroughly work on all the outlines. And afterward, fill in the whole batter drawing. What do we want? Pancakes! When do we want them? Now! <laughs> and you're gonna get them very soon. Just let me finish with the brown color. Here we go, all the way through. All we need is just to wait a bit. Don't forget about the other side, guys. Uh, I really want to say that it looks yummy, but... Ahem, <laughs> you could have made something cuter, you know. <laughs> okay, I got you, Sammy. Let's make something else. It's really hard to draw with your hand elevated. Let me entertain ya! The very first emoji was created in Japan during the development of a new internet platform. Since it allowed for a limited number of characters, one guy came up with the idea to replace words with pictures. Huh, so that people could share longer messages using less data? Smart. Exactly. And in the Japanese language, the word e means picture and moji means character. So now, all of us have a universal dictionary that consists of various emojis. Thanks to emojis, we basically speak the same language. Isn't it great? I'd say that it is awesome and I love it! <laughs> Alright, now we have one, two, and three pancakes. Susie, let's make one more and start our breakfast already. I'm starving! Seems to me that you only have two conditions. Either you're hungry or you're just too full to move. Well, maybe you're right. Hey, what are you drawing there? Hmm, is that a waterfall? Is that a bird or something? I don't get it. I thought we were supposed to stick with emojis. And that's just what we are doing here, Sammy. That's strange. But I don't see... Wait a second. <gasps> Susan, is that gonna be... Don't panic, Sammy. This is still a tasty pancake. Uh-huh. Then it's gonna be yours. Fine by me. <laughs> now it's time for magic. Whoosh. Doesn't look bad at all. Hey, Sammy. Don't you want to check out how this pancake turns out? Oh, this green color is amazing. All right, all right, let me see. Could you just work faster? Come on, Sue, show me! Oh, you scared me! <laughs> and the last pancake flip for today, carefully hop! Ready or not, here I go! Aha! That guy is, uh, really something. All right, people, let's take a look at all four emojis that we cooked today, and then we'll eat them! 